College students are back on campus now, starting or preparing to start the fall semester. But did you know a lot of high school seniors are also preparing for the first year of college? Here to explain is our guest this morning, Edward Fisk, a well-known author of the best-selling Fisk Guide to Colleges, an annual publication that has been a standard part of college admissions literature for two decades. Edward, before we get to what high school seniors are doing or should be doing, let's talk about current college freshmen. What advice do you have for them to manage all that comes with the freedom of being on a college campus? Well, I think the, the, uh, the key word there is freedom because you're going to have a lot much more freedom on college than you did in high school. You're not going to have counselors and teachers looking over your shoulders. So it's really important to get a, get a good start on your academics. Uh, the other side of that would be that if you do feel yourself getting into some difficulty, either academic or you're having social problems, you know, look for some help early because colleges have a real stake now in making sure that the students that they accept end up graduating four or five years later. So there are a lot more services and there's a lot more help available. But at the college level, you've got to seek this out yourself. Now, what should high school seniors be thinking about now to prepare them for this time next year? Well, as always, uh, the main thing for a high school student preparing for college is to get that academic transcript in, in shape. Uh, you need to take challenging courses. You need to do as well as you can because having a strong academic transcript is going to give you the most choices when it comes to, to spring of your senior year. And, and, uh, and the final decision about a school. Uh, the other thing to do is, of course, to begin to think about your particular needs and learning style. And uh, some, college, some students do well in a big school, some in a small. Some want urban, some want rural. Uh, so give some serious thought to the kind of school that's going to give you the, uh, uh, going to help you de develop your, your potential academically, socially, spiritually, and in every other way. Seems a bit early. Do you think the college preparation will continue to start sooner and sooner? Yeah, boy, boy, that's a that's an issue. Bill Fitzsimmons, who was the uh, undergraduate admissions director at Harvard, talks tells stories about being called by parents wondering what nursery school they should enroll their kid oh in gosh. in order to prepare them best to get into into Harvard. Uh, I, the main thing is uh, starting your freshman year. Uh, if, Focus on those academics. That's going to give you the most choices. And uh, you really don't need to start talking seriously about specific co uh, colleges and universities until your junior year. But that's sometimes hard to control. That call about the nursery school sounds a little out of control to me. So <laughs> how do you keep this process, the parents and the students, yeah. from getting out of control? Well, the main thing uh, is, is, to, to, is to put some perspective on the whole process. There, there are 2,200 four-year colleges in this country. And uh, everything from little dinky rural single-sex schools to world-class universities, some public, some private, and, and everything in between. So th this means that there are dozens, scores of schools that are going to be a good match for any particular student and the question the, the trick is to find that right fit and given the odds and the number of opportunities out there you're going to be able to do it edward fist thanks so much for joining us my pleasure